Welcome, friends, to the big Foley painting of death on at the Grunt Gallery till July 27th. The Foley painting of death is acrylic painting on canvas, on loose canvas. So it just rolls up into a roll when it's done. In this configuration, I find really exciting because um, I suddenly realized that because it is so flexible and you can hang it in you know, any configuration you really want to, um, that I could just keep going. I could just add another 100 feet of canvas onto the end of the painting and um, you know, it would just carry on like an ongoing sort of um, Foley project. The large scale Foley painting on came directly out of these books, so it just rolls up into a roll when it's done. Well, the large scale Foley painting came directly out of these books. Um, I, I was starting to develop all of this kind of strange imagery very, in a very surrealist kind of stream of consciousness way. I've always been very interested in visual narratives and trying to create either spaces or um, like with installation uh, to create a space that you come into and you get told a story as you sort of explore around in it. There's a lot of characters that come up and sometimes they're quite rude. Um, and some of the things are like the Wolverines and driving cars, uh, which is one of my favorite. Or they'll say funny things, you know, come up with things. Uh, one of the other sort of things that keeps popping up is the cold dripping toast, which is at the beginning of the painting. That's how I started the painting. It's from an old uh, English monologue that it was sort of on the radio in the 30s. Um, it's called Albert and the Headsman. And Albert goes to the Tower of London, gets chased around by the ghost of the headsman. He gets rid of the ghost of the headsman with this cold dripping, which is the fat from the roast of the night before, uh, spread on toast, so cold dripping toast. One of the other characters that keeps popping up is uh, Mr. Poopy and the poopy head fish. Uh, Mr. Poopy tends to be sort of an agent of the apocalypse, um, destroying cities and laying waste to vast you know, areas of the earth. And after the poopy fish have eaten the edge of the canvas away, uh, it breaks into a more sort of abstract, abstract expression, is post mainly abstract, um, sort of formal kind of ground, uh, which then there are graphic images kind of glued onto the front of. Um, and it's kind of a more, uh, it's, a very, it's a much more sort of organic kind of textured uh, paint surface. Part of it too was sort of, I wanted to talk about my two sort of favorite ways of painting, which are kind of more sort of the formalist vocabulary of, of sort of abstraction, like mid 60s abstraction, um, combined with kind of a very sort of uh, comic booky kind of drawing. And there are sort of elements of, of each thing in both halves. So I, I sort of see one as being kind of a, a doomed rebirth and the other half as kind of being an ecstatic apocalypse. So there's sort of these, you know, they each undercut each other in a, in a sort of strange way. You know, I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, in the next sort of installation of the, of the work that maybe I'll be able to add something onto the end of it because it's going to be in a much bigger space. So, um, so I'm hoping that I'll be really be able to pack it in and sort of, you know, make it a, an experience. I've got another 150 feet of canvas, so 